After my first week as official media at World Cup 2, I decided, hey, let's keep this train rolling. Literally. Nine hours of trains later, I was in Amsterdam, hosted by my new friend Maddie from Nereus, because this week, I'm here to film with the legendary Paul Baker. Planning my Euro tour, I was trying to find somewhere to go between World Cup 2 and Henley, which is how I ended up at the Hollenbaker. Tons of rowing legends have raced and won here, from Mahi Drysdale to Katarina Karsten. This year, Australia's Rhea Thompson and Great Britain's Callum Dixon won the singles, getting 3,000 euros each. Like, how sick is that? Plus, after winning, each college will sing their school song, and they get hella into it. The Boss Bend is an incredible place to row, with its lane markings overhead every 250 meters to the dual bike paths along sides. What's not to love? Yeah, what's not to love? <laughs> what's not to love? It's actually the oldest man-made rowing venue, and it's right at the edge of Schiphol Airport, which has tons of giant planes, so there's no drone footage this time, obviously. I've always wanted to row here, so in the middle of the week, I grabbed Maddie's bike, made my way across the eye on the ferry, down through Vondel Park and hung out around the boat launching zone until someone recognized me and I plucked up enough courage to ask if I could borrow a boat. It worked and I got to go row on the Bosman. So cheers to Nora and Skull. I'm so excited! <laughs> the Bosman is also home to the Dutch national team's training site, so I got to see Nikki and Guillaume. Look how good he looks! Dang! Look at that! <laughs> Woo! Come on. Just <laughs> so I also got to see all the photos and medals from all the legendary Dutch rowers that were just sprinkled throughout the training center. I was in heaven. I even got to work alongside Marijn Soders, who, as of editing this, just retired from professional rowing photography. He's an absolute legend, super nice, and I'm really glad I got to meet him. So before I went over, I actually found out a bunch of my friends from the US club rowing scene were going to be over there racing. So Riverside from Boston and Black Sheep from White Marsh in Philadelphia had two quads and a couple doubles and singles over. And it just made it that little bit nicer to have friends to root for. Wait, you gotta get it with the uni. Yeah. Do you know how hard it was to get these unis? Turns out Amel Yunus actually went up against Chettle Borsch and did fairly well. It was pretty sweet seeing him race each other. By the way, Borsch paid me to, to let him beat me today. So. I like in Hollenbecker. Oh my God, dude, it's gorgeous. This is actually my first time ever leaving the country, so. I just feel super blessed uh, to be here. It's like such an amazing event and to be able to compete with everyone is, is a huge blessing. So yeah, it's yeah, I'm hyped. And thus ended my incredible week in Amsterdam. Oops. I got to say a huge thanks to Inge Struck and the entire Hollenbaker team for welcoming me in and getting me full hey. access to the course to film in all the right spots. You guys are the best and I really hope I get to see you all again soon. My biggest shout out definitely goes to Maddie Lawson. Dude, thank you so much for hosting me this week. It was the best, and dinner was awesome. Yes! <laughs> Matty! Hi. He's the one that gave me the apartment. <laughs> and these guys from Neris. <laughs> and then I guess I'm drinking an Adam Radler. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
So obviously before flying off to Henley, I went and hit the clubs with some friends I made along the way. And that's a wrap for Holland Baker. I'm going out. <laughs> What a freaking week. So much fun. So much fun. I mean, come on. Look at this place. It's amazing. <laughs> See you in the next one.